devastation from the storms. A once peaceful and prosperous race, Kyrie fell victim to this mysterious and terrible force. Their flourishing homeworld, Chiron, reduced to a planet ruled by chaos and hostility. A blazing desert wasteland, dominated by a never-ending struggle for survival. And only those willing to adapt, survived. The Chiron adapted. The Chiron survived. Radical changes to Chiron created Chironite. A source of untold power. With it, they brought neighboring worlds to their knees. Yet, it would condemn them to an even crueler fate, as they would be forever bound to their Chironite rich world. A dying planet they so fiercely despised. But another great force was destined to find them. And, with his help, the Chire would end their fall from paradise and begin their rise from hell. Thank you. Thank you. Fellow citizens, fellow Americans, as we head toward a new age, an age of seemingly limitless exploration, an age of boundless technological progress, we head towards a sea of unforeseeable challenges. Forces, both political and industrial, both local and otherwise, seek to irrevocably tie us to an increasingly globalized world. They seek to strip us of our ideology, our traditions, our way of life. The things that make our lasting democracy so great under the guise of a unified Earth. A single people, a people controlled by an insidious and unseen power. Every step we take toward the future must be a step made with caution, as this power seeks to not only strip us of our sovereignty and the prosperity it brings, but to strip us of our individual freedoms as well. Against this power, we will act. We are Americans. And we will not merely preserve our independence, we will defend it with By the request of the United States Department of Defense, the United States government has confirmed extraterrestrial contact has been made. get here? Some professor planted a bomb I couldn't stop. Lost my arm, my squad. Got myself kicked out of the Global Defense Force. This mission? This is me getting back in the game. Shelly, get to the Rose Garden. Now! Now? Aww, I was hoping for a little more playtime. Uh, uh, uh. 
Too easy. does it take to change a light bulb? None. <laughs> They're all. Oh. oh, you're gonna pay for that. It's not worth the metal you're made of. About an hour ago, an unidentified alien force attacked the White House using some kind of wormhole technology. Tech calls them portals. We managed to mop up most of the outdoor stragglers. But come, I guess things aren't going well inside. Your daughter. That's Madam President to you, Shelley. The last intel we received said she'd taken refuge in the safe room. It's hidden behind a portrait. We need you to find it and bring her back. It's time to paint this White House red. Hey, Bombshell, check this out. It'll turn your arm module into a maxi gun. Let's just say it makes a minigun look like child's play. Good guns kill quick. You might not appreciate the quality, but they will. They call me the peacekeeper for a reason. I'm just saying. If anyone's out there, they found me. I need help. Military contractor from Phoenix Corps here, ma'am. I'm on my way. Hold tight. Who is this? The name's Shelley, but they call me Bombshell. I've been hired to rescue you, and that's what I intend to do. 
Well, Bombshell, you're not exactly what I expected, but you're exactly what I need. Give them hell, Madam President. See you soon. Yes, a picture of the prince. Subtle. isn't exactly the word I'd use. But only a friend would give you the chance to save your president. The chance to step foot on another world. <laughs> and I'll make sure it's the biggest mistake you'll ever make. You would know something about mistakes, wouldn't you, Shelly? The professor's back. Jadis Heskel wanted to destroy his Institute for Cybernetic Augmentation. Why? He'd experimented on himself. He didn't want the world to find his weakness. Me? <laughs> I'll find it anyway. Environment detected. Scanning. Ugh, I forgot about you. I think it's time for a change. Please specify modifications. Something with a little more personality. Make it female, too. It's a little softer on the ears. Configuring. 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 Hello, you can call me PC or prosthetic consciousness. Hmm, good voice. Bad name. Why don't we go with... Amiga. And let's up the personality a little more. Amiga accepted. Reconfiguring personality protocols. Please wait. Back to saving the world it is then.
I never forget a face I killed. Especially one that ugly. Gotta hurt. Transmitting to all GDF in the vicinity. GDF forces, please respond. Soldier, this is Bombshell. Give me a sip. Better left next time. We're receiving friendly transmissions from all over this rock. Most have set up shop and are waiting for reinforcements to arrive. My squad has done the same, but we're under constant attack. There's another catastrophe coming, Heskel. And she's out for revenge. Keep fighting, soldier. I'm on my way. And they said aliens would never land on the White House lawn. My car, your life. That's a fair trade. Scum. That was a little too easy. I never forget a face I killed, especially one that ugly.
Arrived, they tried, they died. <laughs> Take that. That's for the president. Try harder next time. Stand a chance. Ah! Oh, you're going to pay for that. Know what they say, live long and kick ass. Oh, you just pissed off the wrong woman. They arrived, they tried, they died. Coming, Shelly. Chiron will become what it once was. So this is Chiron, home to the Kyre. Who needs GDF intel when you've got an egotistical supervillain? <laughs> Tagged and fragged. My car? Your life. That's a fair trade. How many aliens does it take to change a light bulb? None. <laughs> They're all dead. I never forget a face I killed. Especially one that ugly.
Take that. How are you finding Chiron, Shelley? It's interesting. For example, did you know that Chiron was struck by a cataclysmic natural disaster they called the Great Catastrophe? Hmm, that might explain why this place is falling into a dying sun. But it doesn't explain exactly how you got that information. GDF researchers have been on Chiron ever since the Chiron attacked Earth. They've been mapping geography, finding artifacts, translating texts. They already know quite a bit. Wow, they're fast. Intel is important to the GDF. That's why they gave me access to their science and intel. I'll be monitoring those channels and pulling out anything I think's relevant to you. I'll keep you updated. How's it going, Commander? We've been under almost constant attack since we arrived. Shortly after my transmission, things calmed down a little. Any word from Holloway? Holloway. Last I saw him, he was heading towards that large structure up ahead. Said he was chasing a lead on the President. We think that structure might be blocking our comms. We haven't heard from him since. And calm silence usually means trouble. We don't know. That's why we need you to find him. We'd help, but we can't spare the resources right now. Holloway wouldn't want us to sacrifice a key tactical position just to save one man, even if he is the leader of the GDF. Once you've left camp through that gate over there, you'll find the structure up ahead. Oh, and before you go, I suggest you head on over to our quartermaster. He'll sell you whatever it is you need. See you back on Earth. 